Hello. What is the ESPA266 and why am I so excited about it? Alright, it might sound like a bunch of letters and numbers, but actually it's an awesome thing to make internet enabled gadgets with. So what does all that mean? Well first it's a microcontroller. So it's got some pins here, and I'll put in some close-ups, that you can control motors, lights, you can read sensors with them. Now this has only got two programmable pins, but there are bigger versions of this with more programmable pins on it. Uh, and it can run code, so you can run your own programs on it. It's also Wi-Fi enabled. It can actually serve up small web pages, it can connect to your Wi-Fi router, so you can run it off some batteries like this, and this is my little Wi-Fi enabled recording light. Uh, at this point, nobody knows I'm recording. So there's a little web page served up by the module. There's a button I can click on my phone from that web page to turn this light on or off. I can then use it to drive things like this stepper motor, maybe two stepper motors to make an interesting robot. And these are the other modules. Now these modules, they're low cost. Where adding Wi-Fi to a device might have cost you 10, 20, even 30 quid, these things come in at three or four pounds each, which is extremely cheap for what they do. They've got plenty of flash, they run on 3.3 volts, they use about two, 300 milliamps maximum, and then they have very low current on sleep. So these things are absolutely awesome for building your own stuff with. There's a bit of work to do in getting them running. They're not quite as easy to work with as the Arduino yet, but people have now got Lua code running on them. Uh, there is a Python, a micro Python interpreter coming, and I can show you the Lua Hello World example. Uh, and even Luo lighting an LED. And I'm going to go about eventually soldering these tiny ones onto some carrier boards, and I'm going to try some of the different versions of it. Now, if you're new to this game, uh, I'd recommend starting with an Arduino, but if you're familiar with the Arduino, then this module here, it's called the ESP01. All the devices in the family are the ESP8266. This device is the ESP1. This is probably the best starting point. Although it's only got two GPIO pins, it's going to be the easiest to run with because you don't need to do any soldering. The ESP3 is a surface mount device you're going to need to solder for, so you need to work a bit more for it. The ESP1 is available nearly everywhere on the internet right now. Lots of people are playing with it. And if you wanted to build a robot that you can control from the phone or do things on the internet, this is a device for you. If you want to put sensors around your house, like temperature sensors or relays, a bit of home automation, this is the module for you. Very cheap. You just need to worry about maybe sorting out some power. It'll run off of batteries. So that's why I'm excited about the ESP8266 and I'll carry on my video series playing with it. Good night.